Okay, first grade quick practice. So for quick practice, you're gonna need the number parade. Um, it's generally a poster that comes in your math expressions kit and or you can use these slides as a virtual option if you have a way to project them and to still have student leaders use them. For teaching over Zoom, of course, you can use these arrows here um, to be your tracker and to be your pointer um, unless you have a different pointer option, which is what I'm gonna pull up right now. So we have numbers one through 10, and the idea just for lesson one is just to introduce this poster to students, um, again, called the number parade. And we're just going slowly through the numbers and showing the number of fingers for um, each one of these numerals. So it's a boys and girls, while I point to the numbers, hold up one finger for each number as you count. Ready? And then we go one, two, three, four, five, and we're just counting on our fingers. Now, boys and girls, that was slow. Now let's go fast. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And it's just reviewing our numbers one to 10. You're watching as the teacher to see if students have automatic recall, if they remember how many fingers for each number card, um, if they're saying the right number when we point to it. Again, this is more about rote counting because most kids can count to 10, just rote, um, but we're going to connect it now to do they recognize the symbol and do they recognize the quantity on the card? So at first we're just introducing slow and fast. It's just to kind of get us all warmed up. For lessons two through five, you can see you have another yellow slide that differentiates that. Okay, so you're gonna again go one through 10, but now you're going to move after you do that and you say, now let's start at this number. Boys and girls, start at this number and count to 10. And we're looking to see, ready, begin. Five, six, instead of saying, let's start at five, ask students, ready, begin, and see what number they say first, right? Do they recognize that number? And now we're gonna go five, six, seven. So being able to count um, starting at a number and forward is a part of that counting on standard that we work on in first grade. So now we're gonna introduce five crows in a row. So this is gonna continue for several days. And then we do also in combination with that five crows in a row, which students love this. So I have a student leader who comes up um, and they're going to put five crows right here. And this is working on that subitizing that five group and knowing that numbers from six to 10 hold a five within that number and then extras. Okay, so the student leader will go five crows in a row and the whole class now repeats it with them. Five crows in a row and the student leader will put some quantity up below, like let's say it's one. And all the student leaders will say, are all the students in the class one below. And now when the student leader brings them together, the whole class says the new total. Okay, so let's try it. Five crows in a row, one below, and the whole class is doing it, six five crows in a row, four below, nine. So in the beginning, you can do it in order. One below, six, two below, seven. And it's subitizing that five group and then the extras. Um, and then they can start just doing whatever the student leader wants to do to go through several of them. But the whole class will do it together. As you get here through lesson six through nine, now we have our um, giant number cards. So you can either use the slides. You have um, slide 15 and slide 16, where it's the front of the cards versus the back of the cards. When you get to lesson seven through nine, you can see that it's the exact same thing. Okay, so same idea. So really, once you get to lesson six, then you're going to repeat this. So you're going to do five crows in a row, and then you're going to do our giant number cards. Now, this is something that also happens in kindergarten. So hopefully, we're reviewing viewing this. It's not brand new learning. If it is, then it's going to be a great review for them. Okay. So this is going to tell us even more who remembers and um, recognizes their numbers and build automaticity with that. Okay. So it's called say and show. So I'm going to show you a number and you're going to quickly show me as fast as you can that number of fingers um, on your hands. Ready? Class. And they would show me six and I'd say, say it six, and we would count our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or you could say, let's do a fast five, five, six. But for most of your firsties, we're still just like making sure they got to the six. You're gonna show them this card and some students are gonna, okay, we're looking for automatic fingers, which is only gonna come in time, okay? So how many of our kids just automatically knew that it was six? How many kids had to count their fingers for six? You're just looking for that information. Okay, and then you students would show a different number. So you can do it in order, and then you can start to do it randomly where you point to each card. So if you're doing your slide, you would point to, let's say, 
class and they would show you quickly. The idea is no words. Okay. We know on blurting, I have kids show their fingers right in front of them so that it's not up in the air. When it's in the air, everyone's kind of copying what they see. So it's right here. Show me your fingers, boys and girls. What's the number seven. Okay. New, new card class. What is it? Three. Now notice we're starting with six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because kindergarten really focused on one through five. Of course, they also did through ten, but in first grade, we're capitalizing on these numbers that have a group of five and extra. So we're looking to see if they can quickly put up. We know that it's five and three. We know that it's five and two. All right. So that's what you're looking for and to build automaticity. Then you're going to do it with the back of the card. So now you're going to say, okay, I'm going to show you the back of the card or a student leader would. Um, you're going to, I'm going to say, or you're going to say the number all, or I'm going to show you the number and then you're going to say the number. Okay. So show it. And then they're going to show me on their fingers as quickly as they can. And then I'm going to have them say it. Ready? Show me. And can they supertize? Can they see that it's a five group and four more? So I'm looking for them to imitate that on their fingers. Show me. Say it nine. We know it's nine because it's a group of five and four extra ones. Five and four make nine. Ready? Show me. And they would show you five and one. Class, say the number six. Five and one make six. Okay. And you would continue in that manner. I have a couple more there. Um, you can do this. Show me. Okay, and they would quickly show you five and three. Boys and girls, say the number eight. Five and three make eight. Okay, so you'll continue that through the rest of the lessons. Um, again, five crows in a row is going to continue to come up where students are practicing essentially the same thing. When they get to the number cards, the front and the back of those giant number cards, they're now working on being able to visualize those quantities um, and be able to create automaticity with their fingers. Enjoy. Thank <music> you.